हेलो बच्चों सो लेट्स रीड दिस क्वेश्चन इन अ रेगुलर हेक्सागोन ए बी सी डी ई एफ इफ ए बी वेक्टर इज ए वेक्टर एंड बी सी वेक्टर इज बी वेक्टर देन एक्सप्रेस सी डी वेक्टर डी ई वेक्टर ई एफ वेक्टर एफ ए वेक्टर ए सी वेक्टर ए डी वेक्टर ए वेक्टर एंड सी वेक्टर ऑल इन टर्म्स ऑफ ए वेक्टर एंड बी वेक्टर वी हैव अ रेगुलर हेक्सागन विद साइड्स ए बी सी D, E, and F. This vector is A vector to B, and B C vector is B vector. Now, the first thing that we'll be evaluating is C D vector. I'll state the key concept that we are going to use in the problem. Key concept is basically triangle law and parallelogram. law we'll be using these two laws to solve our problem but that we had to evaluate was cd vector we'll be needing over here some properties of hexagon and the most important property that we'll be needing is diagonal is twice the side now this diagonal corresponds to the line that joins opposite points exactly opposite points all right to evaluate cd vector i'll write i'll consider the triangle triangle a c d and in triangle a c d i have a c vector plus c d vector to be a d vector now i know that a c vector A C vector would be A vector plus C vector, A vector plus B vector. Sorry, so A C vector is A vector plus B vector plus C D vector. This would be A D vector, and as A D vector is a diagonal, and therefore it would be twice the side. And if we take it in our vector terms, it would be twice the B vector because B is parallel to A D. So we'll say that A vector plus B vector. Plus C D vector would be twice of B vector. Hence, we'll have C D vector would be B vector minus A vector. This is our first answer. D E vector, D E vector. Now we see that D is parallel to A on A vector only, and D E would just be in the opposite direction because it it goes from D to E and A vector goes from A to B. So these are in opposite direction. So D vector would be minus A vector. All right. The third thing that we have to evaluate was E F vector. Of our E F vector, we'll consider the quadrilateral quadrilateral C D E F. I mean, know that if we cyclically add all the sides of our quadrilateral, the sum would be zero, which would imply that C D vector plus D E vector plus E F vector plus F C vector is zero. Now, I already know the value of C D vector. We had calculated this earlier to B vector minus A vector. The D E vector was minus of A vector. The E F vector is something that we do not know, and to find the value of our F C vector. Let's look that F C vector goes from F to C in this direction. So does the A vector, and also A vector is parallel to this diagonal, which would imply that F C vector would be twice of A vector. This is zero. Hence, we'll have B vector plus E F vector would be zero, which would imply E F vector is minus of B vector. All right. Now. This comes. Uh, this can also be evaluated from the fact that BC is parallel to FE. BC is parallel to FE. E. I should imply that BC is anti-parallel to to. E F anti-parallel means that they are parallel, just they are in opposite direction. 
so which would clearly imply that ef vector would be minus of b vector all right we have to evaluate fa vector f a vector now as we had seen in bc and fe's case we can also see that fa vector is anti parallel to cd vector and cd vector was b vector minus a vector which would imply that fa vector would be minus of cd vector thus clearly implying that fa vector is minus of b vector minus a vector which is a vector minus b vector all right then we had to evaluate ac vector now we clearly uh, we had already evaluated the value of ac in the first part only and ac vector was a vector plus b vector because we know that in a triangle if this is a vector this is b vector so of course the join of the other two would be sum of the remaining two sides all right similarly ad vector was already also evaluated to be two times of b vector so ad vector is also twice of b vector the ae vector vector would be evaluated using the fact that in triangle in triangle aef ae vector would be ef vector plus fa vector all right and ef vector was given to be minus b vector plus fa vector was given to be a vector minus b vector so this would be a vector which would clearly imply that ae vector is equal to a vector minus twice of b vector actually negative of this because a would be negative of this because sum of all three vectors would be zero so there would be a negative sign over here so it should clearly imply that a e vector would be 2b vector minus a vector all right our answer remains same just the direction gets opposite but we have to evaluate c e vector so in the triangle c d e triangle is c d e c d vector plus d e vector plus e c vector would be zero which would imply that c d vector plus d e vector would be c e vector because minus of e c vector is c e vector theek hai to yahan se main keh sakta hu kyunki mujhe pata hai ki c d vector jo hai wo hota hai b vector minus a vector plus jo d vector hai it is minus of a vector and this would come out to be c e vector which would imply that c e vector is b vector minus twice of a vector for c d vector is b vector minus a vector for d vector is minus a vector for e f vector is minus b vector for vector is a vector minus b vector ac vector is a vector plus b vector ad vector is 2b vector a e vector is 2b vector minus a vector and for c vector it is b vector minus 2a vector i hope you understood it well and best of luck